Well, I think if you're a parent and you have a kid that you're bringing to an event like this, I mean, um, I think you just have to prepare them for the size of it first. Uh, it, it's, it's kind of amazing what happens when you get uh, a bunch of artists, whether they're, they're actors, singers, dancers, when you get a bunch of creative people together uh, in, in one space, and for an event like what we have here, this amount, um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a great thing. Um, there's a lot of uh, there's a, there's there's a lot of energy that it uh, that it generates. There's a lot of uh, uh, just creative ideas, thoughts, friendships, and and just all sorts of things that that the kids probably have never thought before. So uh, I, I think a good piece of advice is just to uh, try and let your kids know that it's all okay, and just let them be open to it and uh, just let whatever happens, happens. Uh, they're obviously in very safe hands, um, and they'll have a, a chance to meet other, other, other kids, other actors, other creative people from all over the world, and, uh, and bring back, you know, not just, not, just, uh, not just really good memories, but just, but uh, something that, they can carry inside them that will help them get to where they want to go down the road. Honestly, the, and this is going to sound a little strange, but I think the best thing that a parent can do is, is, is stay out of their way. Let it happen. Don't, you know, there's a, and, and being a parent myself, believe me, I understand this. And I've, uh, I've, I've watched my daughter go through drama classes and, and, uh, and, and watch her prepare for things and watch her on stage. And your heart is in your throat the whole time, even just on the drive to wherever it is you're going. It's really hard as a parent to turn off that, 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 that safety valve, that, that need to sort of protect and make sure everything's okay. Sometimes the greatest thing you can do for a kid is let them go off and, and, and make mistakes. And they're not even, and this is the thing, is that they're not even really mistakes. Do you know what I mean? But, but they're just, sometimes it's just, it, it's better just to, let, just to let the kid find their way. Like, uh, like I say, I mean, in, uh, in, a, in a situation like this, they're in very safe hands. Um, you know, they're in with a, with a solid group of, of, of peers and, and, and very like-minded people. Everybody is, everybody is headed in that same direction. Maybe they're taking different roads to get there, but they're headed in that same direction. And I, I think, honestly, sometimes it's a little harder on the parents than it is on the kids. But I would, I would say just let them discover. Just let go. You know, you're there for the hotel room afterwards to talk about their day and get them excited about that all over again and get them talking about what they learned and where they want to go the next day and and that's the time to I think you know inspire them and and, and push them um, but I think once once they're in that world just just let them go let them go let them find let them find it for themselves uh, my advice to kids is is be an actor don't be a celebrity um, and the difference, the difference in that is, is, is that, is that actors are constantly working. My, uh, uh, the, my co-star, Jason Dolly, on the show is an amazing example of that. Jason Dolly is somebody that, that, that all these kids should, should look towards because he does that every day on set. Every scene, I love doing scenes with Jason because he is, he is always there and he's present and he's looking at you and even when he's not in the scene, he's watching and he's learning and the, the arc he's taken as an actor is, uh, it, it's just, it, it's an amazing thing to have, to have been a part of, uh, to watch him you know, and I had seen some stuff he had done beforehand, and so to watch him go from there to where he is now, I, it's just, it's a joy to watch. And you know what? That's a trip every actor should take. 
Um, and that's what I would tell. That's what I would tell any kid walking onto a set. Anybody, whether it's your first job, whether it's your tenth job or hundredth job, is uh, look on it as a learning experience. And uh, you know what? What uh, what you give out, you give back. Respect the process. Respect everybody else on set. And uh, you'll find that all that stuff comes back to you. What we do is uh, is is pretty brave when you think about it because it's it's your job to be open I mean to be completely open and receptive to everything that's coming around you and that makes you in, it, it makes you incredibly vulnerable and so what that does it, it, does, it certainly does in me is with every job it generates a tremendous amount of, of, of butterflies um, you know, all the, all the nervousness comes back, all that nervousness you felt, you know, in, in the wings in high school, uh, knowing all your friends were out front watching you, all that stuff comes back with, uh, with every job. And it should, because that's the kind of thing that keeps you alive as an actor. And, uh, and I think it, it does. I think it shows that, it, I think feelings like that show that you are paying attention. And, and that you are willing to sort of put yourself out there, which is what, you know, which is, which is what you have to do uh, to, to be any good. And uh, that's not to say that I'm good all the time because there are some things on my resume I will not talk about. But, uh, but, uh, but yeah, um, and, uh, and as terrifying as it is, it's also, a, it's, it's still a great feeling. It's still a great feeling to get that charge and that energy and that, shot to the heart every time you walk onto a new set. You know, good luck Charlie, we're going into our fourth season. Every audience show, every audience show before introductions, I'm still feeling that same thing. It's um, walking onto a set for a, walking onto a set for the first time is, is I, I don't care who you are, it's an incredibly intimidating experience and anybody who tells you different is lying. Uh, and, and for all sorts of reasons, not that, not that you necessarily doubt what you're bringing to the gig, but you want to do your best, you want to be sure you say the right things, you want to be sure you respect everybody, you want to be sure you know, that, you, uh, that, you, uh, that, that, that you seamlessly become a part of the process. Um, and the weird part about what we do is that you, you, can't, you can't play it safe when you do that. You can't sort of step back from yourself and be careful. You really have to just, you have to dive in and trust that you've got uh, the skills and the, and, the, and the goods to, you know, to carry yourself through that situation. I was, uh, you know, scared to death and, and, and really green and, and just, you know, trip, tripping and, and stumbling my way through it, but an amazing education. I mean, what you, you know, what, what you learn from one day on set, even if it's just confidence, is, uh, is an amazing tool that you carry with you um, before. I've said, it to, I've said it to the kids here, and I say it to everybody. Being an actor is a lifelong education. It's a lifelong education. You are in school every day. Every set you go to, every show you do, every audition you do, every audition you're turned down for is an education in the business. And uh, the, thing about, the thing about acting is that you can always be better and you can always understand who you are better. Um, so a story to go with that is uh, is uh, now I've done it for a while. I'm a bit of a, you know, I'm, now I'm feeling a, a lot more secure and a lot more confident. Uh, I come down to Los Angeles and one of my first jobs out here was on the set of Cheers, a show that I had grown up with um, uh, even before I was in theater school, even before, you know, even before I realized that this was going to become my career. And suddenly all those years of confidence and all that year, all those years of confidence building and, and everything that, you know, I thought that I was went 
right out the window again the minute I walked onto that set. Walking onto that set was suddenly, uh, suddenly I was that green kid again for the first time, you know, on a, on a set. And uh, I honestly scared to death. I mean, these were, you know, the, the, this was a show I loved. These were, you know, these were people, characters that I loved, char characters that I had, uh, you know, grown up with later in life. So you n it never really, I guess my point with this is that it never really stops. You know, and, uh, and, uh, and the main thing is, is that if you're serious about it and you have, uh, you have a, a, a strong desire in your heart to do it, then you, you look on it as an education. Every job is, every, every job is going to school. And uh, the goal is to try and take something away from everything you do.